back to my channel. My name is Joviana. If you are new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So today I'm very excited because we're gonna go into a drugstore makeup haul. These are new products, products that are new to me, products that are new for the line itself. But I'm really excited because they're all drugstore products. And the reason I went through and did a drugstore haul is because I'm gonna start a basic series where I go back and take you guys through the basics of primer, foundation, skincare, basic eyebrow routine, just things that you guys want to know to get you through the everyday. Um, and I'm really excited just because I've been meaning to buy a lot of these products, but I didn't really find a need because I have some things, but anyways, excited nonetheless. So um, I have primers, setting powders, foundations, brow products, highlighters, bronzers, um, a lot, just a lot of things that I want to get go through with you guys and then we'll try them together through the next few videos on my channel just because of that series. So um, what do I want to start with? Hmm. Let's start with primers because there's a ton. So I've got primers from L'Oreal, I've got primers from NYX, Wet n Wild, and I think that's it. Um, one that I'm really excited to try and I know that I'm going to love is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer, which is this guy here. Um, I hear that this guy is very comparable to the MAC Strobe Cream, which I am in love with, so I'm really excited to try this guy. Um, I love a dewy, all-natural, glowy, healthy, radiant skin, um, so I, I cannot wait to try this. However, I'm also combination skin, which I think you guys know already, and the midsection has really gotten out of control as we're going from winter into the summer. So I bought a bunch of pore refining and mattifying primers that I'm gonna try. Um, one of the ones that I'm really excited to try is also by L'Oreal, and this is the Infallible Matte Lock. It's a mattifying primer that claims to be long wearing. This guy here, I do wanna say is comparable to the Makeup Forever Step 1 mattifying primer, so I'm very excited to try these. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to try the fact that there's high-end and then like a drugstore version. I love that. So I'm excited to try this, um, especially in my midsection. And then of course, when you have beach days or days out like barbecues and things, these guys come the root for you. Um, the other ones that I have are this guy right here. This is the, ooh, what's this called? I think it's the pore killer by NYX, and so this is like a pore filling primer. Of course, you guys know that I use the Dr. Brand pores no more, and there's nothing that compares to this for me. So I can't wait to try this and kind of do like a half and half, maybe. We'll see. Um, but I am excited to try that guy. There's also another mattifying one. This one's the Shine Killer by NYX. And then also the Wet n Wild Face Primer. This one's also a mattifying one. Um, I tend to go more towards mattifying during the summers. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to try these just because the only one that I found that it works is this Makeup Forever Step 1, and we'll see. $21 versus, I believe this was like $8, $9, something like that. So I'll, I'll let you guys know. I can't wait. Um, and then the last one that I have is this Dewy one by Wet n Wild, and it's their Photo Focus Face Primer, uh, Dewy Luminu. So this is a lightweight formula infused with vitamin E, smooth skin for even makeup application. Excited, I can't wait, I like this a lot. Um, so let's continue with the face and let's do foundations. So I bought four drugstore foundations. Um, these guys right here, so there's the L'Oreal, there's Wet n Wild, NYX, and Revlon. And I'm excited to try these guys just because they have been all over social media and I have seen great reviews on them. Um, and I've seen them compared to high-end products, so I'm excited to try them. Uh, the one that I'm really excited to try is this Wet n Wild Foundation. Uh, how much was this? This was... $6.59? Yeah, $6.59. Um, photo focus foundation so it's hey if this is what it says it is which is a long wearing goodbye photo flashback it's a light formula good for photographs helps eliminate the reflection of the white particles so I, I really like the advertisement that's on this so we'll see how that works out I got the color bronze beige I was really surprised with the amount of colors they had they had like five different 
different beiges and I'm usually something like a sun beige, neutral beige. So we'll try this guy out. Um, another one that I've heard really, really good reviews on is this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Um, it's a matte finish foundation, but it's not like a flat matte where it's super drying. It's supposed to leave your skin hydrated feeling. So I'm excited to try that. Looks promising. The other one that I've heard amazing and wonderful things about is this stick foundation, the Infallible Stick Foundation by L'Oreal. I have the... Do I? No, I don't. Huh. So I used to have the Infallible Matte Finish Foundation, which I really liked. Um, but this guy here is comparable to the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick. So I can't wait to try these on and compare them. I love this formula. It is super creamy and just like a satin finish to the face. So hopefully this guy is too. The only difference is this guy has a broad spectrum 27 SPF. Sometimes SPF can make the flashback a little worse or make the product a little slippery. So we'll see when we try it out. Um, but it is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, which I'm really excited about. And the last foundation that I got is this guy here. It's the Revlon uh, Photo Ready Candid Foundation, and this is their newest foundation. It's got a little pump, which I really, really like, but it is a natural finish anti-pollution foundation. I got the shade 430, and this is a medium buildable coverage, no harsh ingredients, it's got antioxidants, anti-blue light, and it's oil-free. So, sounds like a really good foundation for the summertime. I know that I like light, Foundations, I do like a medium coverage, but it's also buildable, so we'll see how we like this. Um, but I did see a lot of good reviews on the Revlon website and on social media, so we'll keep you guys posted. Um, that's all for foundations. Let's go on to concealers, because I got a bunch of concealers. <laughs> um, the one that I was most excited about that I've been hearing about all over Instagram is this L'Oreal Infallible Fullwear. They're comparing this to the, um, is it Makeup Forever or the Fenty? I'm not sure, but they're really giving this great reviews. And I got this, which is in like my skin tone, because I didn't have any other colors left. It was completely sold out in stores. Completely sold out. It's crazy. This guy is... $12.99 and this is a pretty decent size container for a concealer. I don't think any of my higher end um, store concealers are this size. Sorry, receipts fell out of the place. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe my ColourPop one. This is about as close as it gets. And this was like $7.99, $8.99. So all of my higher end, like the Bobbi Brown, doesn't compare in size, I believe. What's this? 0.33 fluid ounces and this is 0. 0.20. This is Bobby Brown, and this is almost like thirty dollars. Uh, let's see another one that I have in here. My Nars. This is 0. 0.22, and this is again 0. 0.33 fluid ounces, and this guy is like twenty six, twenty seven dollars. So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to try it. I hear really good things. The formula is really nice and buildable. It is. Um, light feeling and not cakey, so we'll see what happens. One that is an oldie but a goodie for me and I haven't used it in such a long time is this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I think they redid like the name so it can go with the foundation, but the NYX concealers are really good. I think I used this for about a year or two straight almost at one point and I really, really like the formula. It's nice and light, the coverage is really good. I didn't feel like I had to set it with a ridiculous amount of powder. So I really, really liked it. Plus it's really inexpensive. Uh, what's the other one? This is Revlon and I don't, I don't know what it is. When I go to drugstores, there's a specific brands that I like to try out. So I know L'Oreal is like a ride or die. I will not be disappointed by them. NYX, um, ELF. Who else do I like? Some of Rimmel, like Rimmel has really good uh, lip products. And I think that's pretty much it. But L'Oreal is by far like my favorite. So I don't really have too much to say about Revlon products, which is surprising. So I'm glad that I picked up some products by them just because I, I'd like to see what they have to offer. They've been like redoing a lot of their stuff lately. Um, so I got the Revlon Color Safe Full Coverage Concealer. And so this guy, it is, I 
just says full coverage. I don't know too much about the finish. I don't know too much about the formula, but it looked like a really good product. So we'll see, we'll try it out. And the other two that I just randomly happened to pick up, they were like $4 each, I couldn't help it. Um, this is the new Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer by Rimmel. And it's cute, it's come with like its little applicator. And I don't know if you guys, I'm a sucker for this applicator, it's just because my favorite drugstore concealer of all time is the L'Oreal A3 line. And it also has a little sponge like that. So we'll see. I'm sorry, not L'Oreal, Maybelline. Maybelline A3 line. That's the other brand, Maybelline. Maybelline is my favorite. Maybelline and L'Oreal, both top two. Um, but we'll see how we like this. Applicator is definitely a bonus. We'll see how we feel about the formula. I got two shades. I got light ivory and fair. So, um, what else do you want to talk about? Let's talk about bronzers. I got two bronzers. One's a cream, one's a powder. These aren't new, I don't think, but I haven't tried them yet. I've just heard a lot about them on social media. So the first one is the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Contour in the shade... What is this? Something maple. Call me maple. I've heard really good things about this contour stick. I cannot wait to try it. I am very, very big on foundation as a contouring stick. I think I talked about that in my last video. However, I've heard really good reviews, so I'm excited to try this. And then the other one is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, yeah, I figured the formula's nice, the finish is nice, it's nice and glowy. Plus it smells really, really good. So we'll see how I like it. Physicians Formula is one of the cleaner drugstore brands. They really try to leave out a lot of the ingredients that tend to clog your skin, so I can't wait to try that. Um, and then this guy, I guess, is like an all-in-one type, but this is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that my go-to for all of that is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, which I love. I've always loved. I've been using this for almost three years now, and I cannot complain. This product was like $50, but it's lasted me about that time, two or three years. I mean, I'm hitting the pan on some of these, but... It's a really good formula, it blends out really well. There's a lot of color variety for a lot of different skin tone shades. But um, I have heard lots of good things about this. This is supposed to be a dupe for that palette, so I can't wait to try it. NYX does have really good formulas, so I'm excited. Some of these shades do look a little gray for my skin tone, but again, I like, I've been liking to use these highlighting powders underneath my eyes with the Beauty Blender to help highlight further. And then I'll set with the loose powder, so I'll try that out and tell you guys, let you know how it goes. Moving on with complexion, we've got highlights and we've got powders. I've just got two highlights, so we'll go over those real quickly. And these are both by Wet n Wild. Not new, they're the Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. Um, the first one I got is Precious Petals and Bloom Time. I've heard really, really good things about this, so I'm excited to try that out. Um, summer is coming and we want glowy, fresh, to be in for summer so we'll try these guys out They're, this one's like a gold tone and this one's like a rose gold peach almost which I love with my tan skin so we'll see which I prefer I might have to mix both but these guys are super expensive I think like six dollars powders I got a ton of powders both loose and pressed uh, Maybelline has the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders, and I got that in two shades. I got it in fair for under my eyes, and I got it in light for all over my face. The formula to these, I hear, is amazing. I've heard a lot of clients comparing this to like the Cover Effects or even the Hourglass pri uh, primers, Hourglass powders, which I have to say, the Cover Effects Loose Setting Powder has to be my favorite loose setting powder of all time. Um, and then you also know that I like the Cody Airspun powder, but the scent to that sometimes is not the best. And then it also has like a pink undertone that for me, who is a little tanner, it's difficult to kind of work out and blend through. So I'm excited to try these, yay. And then the other two I got are from NYX. So I got the NYX Mineral Matte Finishing Powder, which sounded interesting because usually you don't hear mineral and matte in the same sentence for makeup, but I cannot wait to try this. The formula in the container, looks nice and soft, like it would melt right into the skin, so I can't wait to try. And I got it in the shade Light Medium. Um, this is one that I plan on using like all over the face, just because the shade looks like it would work well, so we'll see. And this just looked 
gorgeous. This is the NYX No Filter Sans Filter Finishing Powder. Um, it's in light beige. This finishing powder reminded me a lot of my MAC Medium Golden Mineralized Skin Finish just because they're both that like baked, um, glowy, radiant, like it sets but it doesn't make you flat type of powder. So I'm excited to try these and, and kind of compare them and tell you guys what I think about them. Um, ooh, we are getting close to the end here guys. So the last thing, oh no no, before I go into that. Um, this guy I actually did buy myself. This my sister gave to me. This is an eyeshadow pro palette by Hard Candy. Do you remember Hard Candy? Like way back when they were trying to make it come through and it didn't really quite happen. They're like in Walmart now, I guess. Um, so she had a bunch of stuff that they had on clearance and this little palette was one of them. And this is like a very warm, simple, yet like really nice palette. So I, I dabbled into a few shades and they look nice, but I haven't really done a whole look with all of these colors and I cannot wait to do that. So this is a hard candy. Um, now we can go into brow products just because I did get, I don't want to say a lot, but I got quite a bit in brow products. Um, so you guys know that anything that I use for my brows has been Anastasia of Beverly Hills and I like to use the pomade that I have from her. Or I've been using this Gimme Brow by Benefit. So this Gimme Brow by Benefit has the, it's brow gel, it's got pigment, it's got volumizing fibers in it that help to just kind of sculpt your brows and get it going quick. I love to use this when I work in the hospital just because I can just comb through my brows and keep it going. Um, and so I got two products at the drugstore that are similar to that in a sense, but I couldn't find anything that was as close to like the size of the brush, which is really what I like the most. Um, the closest in size to the brush is this guy by Rimmel. This is the Brow This Way Lightweight Gel. Um, and so this is what it looks like. It is a lightweight brow gel, long lasting formula, feels lightweight, comfortable on the eyebrows, easy to use brush, it's smudge proof, fade proof, stays fixed all day. So, excited to try this. The other product is by Maybelline, and this is the Brow Drama by Eye Studio. And this guy, the brush, I don't know if you can see in the image there, it's a little different. <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about it. Hmm, we'll see. I got them both in like a soft brown or the equivalent of, so we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. I have one powder, and this is the one by Hard Candy. This is the Brows Now All-in-One Brow Kit. So there's two powders and then one like concealer shade that helps to clean up the brow and sharpen it after you're done styling. And it comes with its own little, like, no, it's not a sponge, it's a brush. And I haven't tried this yet, so the only brow powder product that I really tried is the Goof Proof by Benefit. Mm, I just don't think powders are for me, but I do want to give this a try just because why not? I did get two pencils, and I've heard a lot of good things about these pencils. The first one is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. This is a waterproof wears up to 24 hours angle tip pencil. Um, this one I like just because my favorite Anastasia brow pencil is the definer, which has got that angle to it, and it's got like that beveled end so that I can fill and I can line at the same time, so I'm excited for this guy. And then this one I think is more like the Brow Ways by Anastasia, and this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. So this is more of a ultra fine tip and then it's got the blending brush in the back. It's also waterproof and it's good for sensitive eyes and contact lens wears me. So brow products done. I think this is the entire haul. I'm really excited to try all these products out with you guys. I cannot wait for this series. We're gonna start out by talking from the skin up. So we'll do primer, we'll do foundation, we'll do brow products, we'll go ahead and try out um, contouring and bronzing powders and different things like that so that we can just go back to the basics. I'm really excited. I hope that you guys liked this haul video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel. That way you know when this new Back to the Basics series starts. 
Look me up on Instagram. I do a lot of the behind the scenes things on there and I also announce a lot of things on that channel. I ask you guys questions and it's really interactive. I love it. Um, this is a video guys. I hope that you liked it and I'll see you next time.